when you hear this, I want you to visualize the person that you want to be in the future. See your success. Reimagine dreams and picture how you'll maneuver around the pitfalls and the tripwires on the journey that we call life. And you'll be all right. One day you'll tell the world that a setback is a setup for a comeback. That the door of opportunity has been unlatched because you never tapped out as a matter of fact. That was never an option. And nobody can stop you. Establish boundaries and build your empire where the people you care about are feeling empowered, where they eat together at a table built on trust. And the food is served with a generous helping of love, where it's okay to say no, where there's no room for uncertainty. How amazing would the world be if all relationships were healthy and the transport was fueled by burning toxicity without emissions? Where nobody comes into your safe space without your permission. Where compromise and chemistry disqualifies any jealousy. Where being volatile is a memory. And there's angels in the sky terrorizing the enemy and protecting our integrity. If I gave you a paintbrush, would you rather paint a population that are missing communication instead of miscommunication? Would the colours you use represent the diversity of our nations? Would the brushstrokes cross borders? Would they splash across the canvas to form part of one big composition? Would you, as the artist, sit back and admire your creation, impressed by your impressionism and disinterested in pessimism? Nearly. That little line there always gets <laughs> You can stand there with pride and watch your universe flourish, lift the fallen, restore the broken and encourage the discouraged. Be the change that you want to see. Don't be afraid sometimes to show your vulnerabilities and wear your heart on your sleeve. Today, we start to believe in those we depend on, even though we're independent. Loud voices are complimenting, good choices and consequences. You can do this and confidently watch the rain wash away the insecurities of yesterday. Imagine a place where it's okay to come out of your comfort zone where you had to make decisions and you chose to make the hardest one. Now the only time you look back is to see how far you've come. Where you had a vision that you thought wouldn't work, but you were supported by your support network, achieving heights that seemed unimaginable, almost unfathomable. If we improve our attitude, we can rise to new altitudes. Just remember, never look down or back to anyone that doubted you. Thank you. Jim dons his work suit and tie. By this, I mean <coughs> canvas straps, binoculars, khaki bag. The sky is his desktop background. His colleagues are not like us. He tells us the owl's natural home would be everything we can see from its pen. Then my chest is made of honeycomb and netted wires. We move on, stop, wait, listen between the trees, patient, we allow song to fall and fill the space around us. Every bird waiting its turn. Jim teaches us to catch these melodies, become the silent space where songs grow. I wonder what they see in us, the birds. Our inconsistent feathers, flat voices, our flightless, meaty wings. Are there bird versions of Jim, avian anthropologists, experts in the ways that we behave, how we mimic their music, share space, settle and nest despite the climate, the acoustics or the light. The gym birds would pity us, dangerous and fearless but earthbound, dexterous, smart, able to hear their thousand year old song but never sing our own, just live long lifetimes, passing messages between us without truly knowing what we want. Thank you. Our future. Excitement is a place. A town with thousands of rainbow friends. Pandas can be pets. No fighting. A place with sweets and sugar. A place you can do whatever you want. Meet a, sweet, meet a sweet place. A beach with just you. A beach you can reach. Kindness is kindness. Happiness is good love. No meanness. 
That's where I want to go. A game of mystery. Mystery is a place where life is at stake. Footsteps heard all around, they enter, hopeful. Mystery is a place of darkness. The crowd go wild and then it's a sound. Mysteries are burning down hotter and hotter. Through, charging like a bull. Happy places ready to be explored. Sheffield. Fife. <laughs> Belfast. Chester. But one day I find myself in a place. A place of wonder. The ice rink. Skating round, drenched in glory. Place is definition in itself. Your place is yours alone. Woo! A safe place, a kind place, an inclusive place, a together place, an understanding place, a welcoming place, a home place, my favourite place. When I talk about equity, I'm talking about care. A place where warm hugs and honest eyes are currency. Smiling with glee when you walk into the room just because. When the sun is out, we have a barbecue with different stations for all our food preferences. Spicy wings and burnt burgers, grilled sweet corn and veggie sausages, sweet potatoes with chickpeas and spinach, pineapple grapes and mango fruit salad. It will feel like a forever family reunion, dancing to Burner Boy and Elton John songs. As the sun sets, we wind down to Fela Kuti and Hermanos Guitares, sitting around the fire, sharing stories about our journey getting here. Recognizing it wasn't easy because being in a truly inclusive place takes time and an act of commitment. We fought along the way, covered our ears when it became uncomfortable, faced some harsh conditions, but in the end, it was all worth it. Thank you. People do hundred pumping, you can hear the AR shooting and the SMGs fired. You can smell the smoke of the ARs and the SMGs. You can touch the silky green grass full of bullets from the ARs and the SMGs. You can feel the wing lighting the bullet to the target. You can try winning a game which is hard. I can see Bulldogs playing football, I can hear low pitch talking, I smell fresh air, I touch the wall, I feel the solid ball, I try when I watch a football. A sweet sugary place full of laughter, a busy kind of noisy place making everything alive, a place I'll never leave because it's home, a place full of joy that makes me laugh, a place that people are welcome to at any time, a place that needs to be helpful and calm. I want the whole world not to have delicious sweets and mouth-watering chocolate. I want it to have a better environment than it has right now. I want it so then we're helping an amazing world for us to live in. We could pick up dirty litter from the narrow streets, but even if you do a little bit for your community, other people will be doing the same thing, so it'll make a big difference. Do what you want to do if it makes you happy. girl dreamt about a leaf bed in place where I lay my head, a pink heat retaining place, a teddy bear place cramped with teddies, a green pink sea to relax in place. A combat fighting place, a non-realistic world where you can talk and have quests, an online place, a different experience as well, a remarkable place, a colossal place. An animal world, a feel happy place, a kind place, a gigantic place, a horse ride place. I see buildings with tall as giraffes, I wonder what the food is like. I hear bells ring out loudly, I smell croissants, I try fudge cake, I feel like I want to live here. Then she woke up and said, The, the place, place now I'll go. go. As I step into the box, I see lots of yummy candy canes. I hear the chocolate rain pouring. I touch the scrumptious but sticky sweets. I feel the 
I feel, I feel like I will burst with excitement. I wonder just how many sweets are in this candy world. I pretend I don't want them, but I do. I am very, very full. The place is I'll go. Them. The earth is as beautiful as a pretty rose. As small as a soft fluffy dog. As <laughs> colourful as a rainbow. As round as a globe. As nurturing as a parent. As tall as Mr. Wright. As life giving as the first flower. As precious as a delicate blue butterfly. The, the place, place is I'll go. go. A busy place, a Disney place, a messy place, a fun place, a pretty place, a fancy place, the, the places, places I'll go. go, a wonderful place, a loud place, a friendly place, a rainy place, a special place, a flowery place, a laughing place, a delighted place, the places, places I'll go. go, an adventurous place, a family place, a relaxing place, a well-known place, a famous place, an expensive place, a fascinating place, a very big place, the, the places, places I'll go. go. I am so proud. I can see the sky here today. I can see that bright skyline indoors from here. I can see the sky here today from beneath my lidded eyes. Mmm, delight, delight, delight. I could see the sky with my back turned today, wind and space behind me, while my shirt becomes a sail, billowing, hair flung everywhere. I can see the sky here today from where I stand. And it's you, you, the new horizons. Mmm, mmm, the light. The light, delight stands behind me and the shadow I cast is dark and thick and proud. This is solid ground. Where I stand, I feel the shoulders beneath bearing us up. <coughs> I see your eyes. We know what we've built, poetry. That's some solid ground. I want to offer my hand to the next in line, to pull you up, bring you on stage, but you're already writing. You're in the wings, you're on the stage. You're not waiting around. You are making your stomping ground. <coughs> When I get there, there will be stomping. When I get there, there will be roaring. When I get there, there will be dinosaurs as I enter the past. When I get there, there will be golden celebrations. When I get there, there will be glory. Glory knowing we all made it here together. When I get there, there will be trophies of sacrifice and courage raised up high as I enter the future. When I get there, there will be the golden beam of hope and opportunity in my sight. When I get there, there will be screams of fun. When I get there, there will be paths filled with life, telling the tale of the most wonderful adventure. As we enter our own world, there will be stomping glory and paths of light. That's, That's how, how we feel, feel inside. inside. where the Eiffel Tower is. Dogs yapping, cats clapping, dragons roaring. They will settle for a campfire night, eating marshmallows as this was a delight, where the moon shines bright without a fight. 
foxes, yaying, zebras, playing, tigers, praying, elephants, gaming, fishes, battling, to city, rattling, a spot of cold in the modern town's exotic city. Sledges gliding, paragraphs rhyming, people in Paris getting married. <laughs> When I don't feel like writing, the words are persisting, careless to my resisting, until I eventually give in, throw them a bone, to catch with their spiky and unforgiving metaphors. The words just keep showing up, like that candle that just won't go out, no matter how hard you blow. Give it a go. No. Instead of exhausting me of oxygen, when I write them down, it stuffs me full to bursting, releasing past nightmares, making space for scares of a different kind, brimming with possibility, opportunity. Yeah, scary. I could go to a bookshop and thumb the thick, creamy, ivory pages or a library. Imagine who took this tale for a spin in times gone by, just a week past. Or my dusty grandparents' attic with D and D logo still, <laughs> D and D lingo still padding the walls full, like the Shakespeare volumes all lined up in a row, bursting with lint and love and tragedy. But most importantly story. Adventure dances, sparks along the beams. Oh, what a world it seems, erupting from the seams. Who needs to spend money when we have stories? Our stories. We are story. A beautiful place, a bright place. These are the places I'll go. A lovely place, a cosy place, a cold place, a snowy place. These are the places I'll, I'll go. A silent place, a delightful place. A silent place, a delightful place. These are the places I'll go. I will go to Disney World and all the lights will be shining delightfully into my eyes. Mickey Mouse is making memories that will last an eternity. The smell of glossy donuts fills my nostrils. Chocolate pretzels unwrapping crunchily, noisily, and children scream with delight. Ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wiping away wonders with the <coughs> The rides will be spectacular, and I will breathe in the sight of the Disney Palace. It will be amazing. If there are no characters, then take on another adventure. This is a definite paradise. A, a definite, definite paradise. paradise. <laughs> In the moon so far, like a shining star. When I get there, it will be like a wonderful sound. It will feel like a crowd rushing through me, but it seems to be out of bounds. We can only go in through our mind. Everyone who lives there is really kind. Is it a place you want to go? Is it a place you want to go? You could even play in the glistening snow. We went to space and back. Over there, it was pitch black. Whilst on the path that leads me back, I hear a distant shotgun crack. This is the road that people set beside the thorns along the track. I wonder if I've been led. My breath is cold inside my head. And I no longer feel so small as all my thoughts are quickly fled till I am wonderfully tall beside the thorns and cesspit wall. The woods are moving far away and roll within the river's core. I hold the blackbird's song in sway without a word of mine to say. 
and realize I've lost my way and realize I've lost my way. Thank you. Telling you to follow your heart. Feel its comforting weight guide you. Let your memories surround you. I'll go to a place I haven't yet been. Where walls are like paper. Barriers are like string. Taste the sour sea salt on the air. The crystal clear sky hovers above you. You smell the sweet fragrance of vanilla gather around you. You will know when you are there. It will feel right. It will feel like where you're meant to be. I now see me, all of me. The wondrous meadows and the vast mountains hold an elegant city of wonder. <laughs> Skyscrapers break the boundaries of the clouds. The sights to see will take your breath away. As beautiful as a blooming flower, but in its core grasps a dreadful secret. Corporate greed lights the hallway with hatred. A utopia built on the foundation of corruption. Politicians leeching off the public and influencers following their lead. Even though it seemed like a paradise, all it was was just a facade, an elaborate facade. A city built upon the pyramids where the one on top cheats off others. Their servants below, brainwashed and clueless. Their intellect lacking to know better, but those who speak out are worse off. I know they hear the crowd of hungry people beg, but they simply swerve and swipe their needs aside. The politicians leaving them to die, their promises to them never fulfilled, even though it seemed like just like a paradise, all it was was just a facade, an elaborate facade, another, another elaborate, elaborate facade. facade. You can go to Uruguay, you can go to Paraguay, anywhere you want, anywhere you can go. You can go to Saturn to get a little rattle, you can go to Mars to buy a vase, you can go anywhere to buy a piece of Tupperware. All your journeys, all over the world, share to your friends, share to the world. You can go to Germany to buy a baguette, or you can go to France to buy a brat horse, but as long as you dream, it doesn't have to match. <laughs> Shine some light on an unknown world, discover a new place, one where no one can go. It can be big, it can be small, no matter what, you can see it all. Pursue your dreams, keep your head up high, keep focusing your mind, your light will shine on, be divine and your dreams will continue to go on. Trial by plane, trial by rocket, trial by boat, trial by magic carpet, no matter what, the world is in your pocket. Get lost in a world of tranquility or a utopian world, but the point is, your mind is your world. It may be hot, it may be cold. It can be ravishing paradise or a bitterly cold arctic, but if you keep hold of your dreams, there is always a way. People can stop you, things can be in your way, but no matter what, there, there is, is always, always a, way. a way. As we've always said, keep your head up high, be the one to lead, be the one to follow, be the one you want to be, be the leader, be the carrier, be the one that everyone needs. Like we've always said, follow your dreams, follow your path, there's always a way. shuns upon me. Is it calling me? Reaching the depths of my creativity. What is that beautiful tune I hear in my sleep? Making my dreams run right through my mind. Is that paradise really tapping by my side? This hippity bobbity mesh runs right down my cheek. Is it to seek the dreams that I weak? Why am I sitting here silently? Blindedly letting my dreams walk by the side of me. Could I be wasting my time or be living in that paradise? Can I drown in fear, knowing that I didn't reach my desired beach? Or can I be living in fulfillment, knowing that I can truly reach? Oh. Derby, unbeaten for 18 games. Derby, the toe-clenching banter with Forrest. Darby. Darby, spine tingling atmosphere of Pride Park. Darby, the skull smashing headers. 
Darby, the teeth shattering, stomach churning puck of pies. Darby, the home of many casualties. <laughs> Darby, world of incredible adventures. Darby, a team formed in 1884. Darby, the realms of destiny. <laughs> My name is Drake, and I ain't no snake. These lives I take, they're no longer awake. Drake music moves me like an ocean. Ocean. He's got it in brackets. Yeah, yeah. Switch up that beat, put me in slow motion. My gang moves like a stormtrooper. The girl in my DMs is calling me super. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it from the start. <laughs> Are you all with me? Are you all, are you yeah, all with me? Yeah, yeah. Drake music moves me like an ocean. ocean. Switch up that beat, put me in slow motion. ocean. My gang moves like a stormtrooper. That girl in my DMs is calling me super. super. I'm flying in my jet. 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 I'm flying in my jet. jet. I ain't got no debt. Yes. No need to sell my pet. Oh, I, like this. <laughs> I ain't got no bet. Yeah. There's no need to sell my pet. Yeah. And no, I don't bet. Yeah. I'm set to land. Yeah. About to make me a grand. Yeah. I arrive on the stage. stage. I didn't arrive on the stage though, did they? <laughs> Break free from my cage. cage. I think that is it. Who's been told they need to stand up straight? Who's been told they need to sit up straight? Who's adjusting their seating accordingly now? <laughs> this is a warning. It's about a boy called Joshua Waite who slouched and was eaten by a fish. <laughs> Can you recall Joshua Waite, who'd never, ever stand up straight? He was a boy, like boys you know, but always kept his shoulders low. If running round or on the couch, young Joshua would always slouch. One day, Mum said, it's about time to have a doctor check his spine to find out this malefactor. They met with a chiropractor. Now, this doctor knew a special trick to make Joshua's spine go click. She tried her best. She went chartreuse, but what she did was little use, for even though he went crack, crack, Josh always chose to bend right back. <laughs> Mum, who had felt lost, felt loster, worrying about his posture. <laughs> each day, as Josh's shoulder slumps, mother would feel down in the dumps. One day, after his deepest slouch, Joshua started crying. Ouch! He tried his best to stand up straight, but simply, simply could not elevate as turn by turn his vertebrae abandoned him and went away. <laughs> and one by one, his many bones each vanished from their normal homes. After ten minutes, maybe more, <laughs> Joshua slumped down on the floor, and seeing him, you could not guess the boy was now this squiggling mess. But Mother knew, as mothers do. Together she put two and two through tears, cried, Bless his cotton socks, and scooped him up into a box. She sadly said, What are the odds? and stored him by Dad's fishing rods. Then, needing a pick-me-upper, nipped off for a cake and cuppa. Upon returning from her scone, she found that Joshua had gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> Mum could not see how she'd missed him, lacking his skeletal system. She searched the house, she made a tip. Dad came back from his fishing trip. And hurriedly, Mum then explained, Dad's expression grew quite pained. Said father, who was red of face. 
I've used our son to catch a place. <laughs> For when I looked inside that tub, I thought it was a massive grub. So stand up tall, lest you may turn into a spineless, wriggling worm. That's what befell Joshua Waite, who ended up as fishing bait. <laughs> My name is Humanity, and you can listen to me partially, but either way it seems to me that now is the time I need to speak. You see, parts of me are falling apart at the seams, and I'm seeing things that make me feel like I need to be woken up from a bad dream. Why? Because it's hard for the mind to know that some of us are being unkind instead of humankind, while some of us turn a blind eye to the plight of those being marginalised. It's like I've opened up a window that I can't minimise and most definitely can't justify the scene. I just can't understand how we've multiplied at the same time as being divided. How we have the technology to guide missiles, but we're still being misguided. What happened to the spirit of togetherness? When did we forget the concept of acceptance? By the time I finished this sentence, there's a story of one of us being born out of love. At the same time, someone, somewhere, has had more than enough. Frequently harassed, repeatedly attacked for the colour of his skin or for the beliefs that he has. Because he's living with a man or she's wearing a hijab. Ask the person driving them away, the one swearing at the cab. Why well, he feels this way? He'll like say he learned it from his dad or I saw it growing up and it's just the way I am. I think sometimes we develop contempt for what we don't understand. But if we envelop resent, then things won't go to plan. From the woman in a wheelchair who was verbally abused to the boy who got picked on when they heard he was confused. You don't have to be the same as every person in the room. I know it's hard to be yourself when they're persecuting you. Would they connect with your soul if they were walking in your shoes? Could we have a common goal instead of separating groups? Can we remember World War II and why we had to send the troops? Can we stop demonising Muslims and dehumanising Jews? Can we try not to troll when we post from our devices, like the ones who associate every Asian with ISIS? Then walk into a restaurant and try all of their spices. <laughs> I don't want my kids to grow up in a world where everybody's fighting, where people are isolated because an attitude defines them, where your race or your religion can leave you outside at night frightened, where a Chinese man is beating because he invented COVID-19. I am humanity. You don't have to victimise me because you are me. I know sometimes not everyone agrees and everyone's entitled to opinions and beliefs. But there's no need for extremism. Every single one of you are the reason I exist. Be the real you. Don't embrace the narrative. You need to know we'll all disappear if I breathe my last breath. Because if everybody's far right, we'll have nobody left. <laughs>